What is up everyone? JD here. I have an everyday carry video for you guys. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm going to be actually doing the review of my Kaiser Feist Deadpool Edition. So I really have had, the, this is my second Kaiser. I've really enjoyed having this knife is what I was going to say. Um, and this edition here I think is a really cool take on that particular uh, knife and that deployment method as well. I really, like I said, I've been enjoying it. I've even tried to like, not that I'm good at it, as you can see, I've tried to like start learning how to do this little finger roll thing that I see folks do. Um, and it is pretty cool, but <laughs> I don't know if I can get it. Uh, my finger hasn't toughened up there enough to be able to do it. And I try to remember to kind of relax the top part of my hand and not push so hard. But um, like I said, when I start concentrating and talking about it, I can't do a very good job. And my big hands, I think, do a really good job blocking it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the knife. So you can see here it has a 2.8 inch CPM 3V steel coated blade in the reverse tanto shape. This is a Justin Lundquist design. It has a 4.4 inch handle done in a very beautiful red micarta with a deep carry pocket clip that is right hand only sorry lefties overall length 6.5 inches on the knife really really nice i like the fact that it has the knockout for the liner lock on this knife really really easy to use very accessible and i love the fact that the liner is inset so that it hides behind the knife scales very very nice action on bearings this knife has excellent detent, just like the other Kaiser that I have. Now, really quickly too, before I forget, you guys are gonna laugh when you see the weight on this thing. Two point, oh, two ounces even. Let's do one more check, zero out. Yep, two ounces even. That is a lightweight knife. That is a bug out territory knife. Let's do some quick comparisons with some of the usual. I don't know why I struggled right there. I think I was really kind of high up on the knife, yeah. Um, and that really messed me up. Anyway, comparisons. Go ahead and bring out the usual players. And again, I'm gonna try to roll through this quickly because this is my second Kaiser. I have another one on the channel, but I did wanna do a full review to give you my impressions of the reverse Tonto version. So here you see the Spyderco PM2 3.44 inch S45 VN clip point with a 4.81 inch G10 titanium scales, 8.25 inches overall length, and a weight of 3.75. I also have my Yo Jimbo 2 here from Spyderco. Trying to line up the pivots, sorry about that. I think I knocked the Kaiser around a little bit. Man, that thing looks miniature in there, doesn't it? That's kind of crazy. 3.125 inch coated 20 CV blade. It has a 4.5 inch G10 handle scale with an overall length of 7.5 inches and a weight of four ounces. <laughs> All right, let me bring out the others for you guys to compare to. Here is the Hogue Doug Ritter 3.44 inch 20 CV blade with a 4.72 inch G10 handle. 8.75 inches overall with a four and a half ounce beefier weight going for it. Another very popular knife in the EDC community is the Benchmade Bug Out. It has a 3.24 inch S30V blade in a drop point style and it has a 4.22 inch and in this instance, titanium G10 scales with a weight of 2.3 ounces with those scales installed. Two more knives for you guys. First, a knife that I highly recommend in the budget realm, and that's gonna be the CJRB Feldspar. Line up those pivots for you guys. This one is the 3.5 inch D2 coated steel with a 4.6 inch micarta scale with inset liners, so you don't see any of the liners. Love that about that knife. 8.1 inches overall with a 3.67 ounce weight. The next up is the very popular in the EDC community, Civivi Elementum. This has a 2.96 inch D2 steel blade. It has 
4.03 inch steel liners with micarta scales on top. You can visibly see the liners on this knife. It comes in at a total of 6.99 inches in length with a 2.89 ounce weight. So the second lightest knife in this comparison. So let's do some profiles and then we'll get into some um, comparable knives so you can see something that it would be good up against. As you can see here, it is identical to the uh, Elementum. It is going to be a little bit thicker than the ever so slicey bug out. And it should be thinner than the Yojimbo. Whoa, that's actually closer than I thought it was going to be. I think they're identical. I think they are identical. Um, so really quickly, just a couple of really comparable knives that I like that are in this same segment. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on the knife. So we're going to put the Kaiser back down here. And the first up is going to be um, my Civivi bow. This has the Nitro V steel, Nitro V steel coated blade, and it has the beautiful my uh, micarta. Holy crap! <laughs> Shredded or marbled carbon fiber, however you want to say that, the fat carbon fiber, whatever you want to call it. And then another knife that I think is very comparable is going to be the CJRB Rhea, and this one has the and I can never remember it, <laughs> the AR. RPM 9 in-house blade steel. Very good blade steel, um, by the way. I like the way that that's been performing. So some very comparable knives. I got one more that I want to throw into the comparison here really quickly. Let me get these out of the way. And that's going to be the only other Kaiser Feist that I have. And there's a specific reason that I'm comparing a Feist to a Feist. The reason that I wanted to bring out this particular Feist is because it is a different blade style. And the handle materials are very different. So one thing that I noticed, even though this is a really well done uh, uh, regular carbon fiber, it's not shredded or marbled or anything like that, but it is very sturdy and very strong. There's no rigidity. And both of these hands, by, uh, both of these, by the way, fit in the hand. I can get all of my fingers on there very comfortably to use them to get into packages, envelopes, cut zip ties. Um, I haven't used these to break down any boxes, I'll be honest. But everything else, you know, getting into those packages and everything I've done. So back to what I was saying about these two different materials. So the um, micarta, even with the uh, inset liners, you can see it, it has a little bit more flex. Whereas the carbon fiber, because it's a much stronger material, doesn't have that flex. The other thing that I'll say that I noticed as well is that the action even though they're both tuned the same, the action's a little bit more light for the detent perspective anyway on the one that's on the carbon fiber. But as you can see, if you look at the lockup here for these two guys, the lockup is very similar. They're almost identical. And I think that might be because this is a little bit more broken in, but I do notice like I really don't have to put as much pressure on that to get that to deploy but the lockup is very solid there's not I don't worry about this knife at all and you can see you know I've had this knife for a while I carry it in the office a lot very it's centered um, and I've very I've liked that knife very much I carried it a lot sorry I was putting it away so that's just something to take into consideration a little bit of movement here why do I bring that up I bring that up because if you're carrying this in your back pocket and you're sitting and you're contouring, you see what I'm saying? You might be able to slightly bend those inset liners. So that's just a little bit of something to take into consideration. Now for me, I generally carry this in the fifth pocket unless I'm in work. And then I usually carry it with like a pocket organizer or something like that where I can carry a little pen and flashlight with it. So for me, it's not that much of an issue because I really don't sit on my knives. But that is something that I just wanted to throw out there depending on how you're carrying it. Now, I hope this review has helped you, whether you're considering the Feist or if you're looking specifically at the Kaiser Feist with the reverse Tonto, which I really love this blade because I feel like from an EDC perspective, opening packages, boxes, um, 
any type of you know light duty work where you're using this knife i love the fact that that reverse tonso puts that blade in a really user-friendly position if you found the video helpful and you enjoyed it leave a like it helps the channel out if you're enjoying the content think about subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future content i appreciate all the continued support out there guys it means so much to me i am so grateful i hope all of you have a fantastic week thanks for tuning in today guys peace